Last night after we arrived in Dawson Creek, we had dinner with Rick, the guy we ran into in Grand Cache yesterday. Rick is also on his way to Tuck and the Dempster Highway. I found out Rick is from Fort Collins in northern Colorado, not all that far from my home in North Denver. Rick and I got together for lunch a few weeks after this trip to share stories about our adventure. He's also planning a magnificent trip on his motorcycle around the world to Mongolia. Depending on what your source is, some say this monument at 102nd Avenue and 10th Street is the actual zero mile marker of the Alaska Highway. And other sources say this one at Highway 2 and 8th Street is the actual zero mile marker. So we hit them both. And I thought I'd leave some of the paint from my crash bars at this one just so everyone would know I was there. Oh, shit. Yep. Of the nearly nine years I've owned this bike, this is only the second time I've dropped it. The first time was on this same trip eight years ago. Today we're riding from Dawson Creek, British Columbia to Fort Nelson, British Columbia, 282 miles. After checking the Dempster ferries today, not only was the Peel River ferry still closed, but the Mackenzie River was now closed too and the threat of snow seemed to be intensifying. Things weren't looking too good, but we still had about four days before we would start our ride on the Dempster Highway. The original 2,130-foot suspension bridge that was here built in 1943, collapsed on October 16th, the same date and year of my first birthday. There's a good clue for you to figure out my age. Yep, this is the one. For those of you who have watched my Alaska the Solo Trip video series, you may remember the part where I was at the pump from hell, the fuel stop where I couldn't get any of my cards to work, and the pump required you to answer a whole series of safety questions. Even Rob, the guy I met at the pump from hell back in 2015, couldn't get it to work. I finally ended up sitting there for about 40 minutes waiting for someone else to show up so I could buy some gas off of them. It was so strange, this is almost the exact same situation as seven years ago. Same conditions. Well here we were at the pump from hell once again. I was determined this time to prove to Kevin and all of my viewers how difficult it really was to get this thing to work. And now was my chance. All right. Just the same machine? Yeah, it looks like it. That removed car. Okay. Oh, now it's gone. All right, so enter. There you go. It's a little easy. <laughs> All right, it, it was harder last time. <laughs> you want that to be difficult? It's not difficult. I'm not talking about it anymore, but Kevin was. You want that to be difficult? <laughs> yeah, I did want it to be a little more dramatic than that. Well, it would have been. 
it would have been here. You ready? Yeah. So there you go. I mean, you were you were you were uh, making that difficult time. <laughs> it wasn't that difficult. You mean just now? This time? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! I still got the camera on. <laughs> The further up the Alaska Highway we traveled, we started noticing another pattern. Everybody's going to talk this year. When we were going to Alaska, it was said that the everybody's going to adult. Uh huh. I only ran to what ran into one guy in Whitehorse yeah, that was going to Tuck. Everybody's going to Tuck this year. The guy on that Africa Twin is Richard. We saw him at the gas station across from our hotel this morning in Dawson Creek. We ended up leapfrogging each other along the highway for three days and getting to know each other pretty well too. More on Richard later. As if the humiliation at the pump from hell and dropping my bike this morning wasn't enough, while I was snacking on my daily bagel, I was wondering why this particular piece of bagel wouldn't chew up until I realized I was chewing on my microphone. Are you sure you're chewing the bagel this time and not the frickin' mic? We arrived in Fort Nelson, but not without me noticing that I was paying the price for some of my blunders of the day. Oh, yeah, I pulled a few muscles this morning when I dropped this bike. On this morning's damage report, I had a cracked GoPro lens from yesterday, but I was able to replace it with another lens I scavenged off of an older GoPro I brought with me. More importantly, yesterday as we were checking into the hotel, I noticed a clicking sound coming from my chain. Upon closer inspection, we noticed the links on the chain were not moving freely, and the chain was also extremely loose. We adjusted the chain, cleaned and lubed it, but it was still in poor condition. Our plan was to keep an eye on it and try to find a new one as we continued up north. We had a glimmer of hope on the Dempster Ferry situation. The Peel River Ferry was still closed, but the Mackenzie River Ferry had reopened. But the forecast on the snowstorm moving into the Dempster area was getting even worse. Today we're riding from Fort Nelson, British Columbia to Watson Lake, Yukon Territory, 319 miles.
called? It's just called the nice hotel. A nicer hotel? Well, a nice hotel, a nicer hotel, the big horn hotel. <laughs>